You know, as with many things in life, there's often more than one way to arrive at the same end result. The same holds true of calculating the mix ratio on plural component resin systems. In this video, I want to show you one of the easier methods we tend to use and explain each step as we go along. As mentioned in our video on mixing materials, it'd be great if all of our systems were one-to-one -one by weight and volume. But the reality is that we formulate our systems for the best material performance without trying to make sacrifices to force an easy to calculate ratio. This means that the ratios can vary from one material to the next based on balances in A and B chemistry. Once you learn this technique, you'll find it much easier to calculate ratios and you'll be confident that you're achieving accurate results. To start off, BJB always lists the ratio in a logical alphabetical order of A then B. Many people over the years have assumed that the A side is always 100% and the B side varies. But there are many systems that BJB manufactures that will have a reverse scenario where the B side is 100% and the A side is lower. So let's get started on the math. The most common scenario for measuring out materials would be that you have a fixed amount you wish to mix. For this example, we'll pretend we're trying to mix up a total of 200 grams. The unit of measurement, whether it's grams, pounds, kilos, ounces, doesn't really have an effect on the formula. The finished values will be based on the units you start with, in this case, grams. If our material system has a mix ratio of 100 to 45, we really want to refer to this as 100% A to 45% B. The act of calling it a percent will make the math much simpler and easy to calculate. We'll get to that in just a minute. Add 100% to 45% and you get 145%. Take 200 grams and divide it by the 145%. Now there's two ways to do this which work the same. If you have a calculator with a percent sign, Type 200, divide by 145, and hit the percent sign. If you don't have a percent sign on your calculator, then you type 200 and divide by 1.45, which is the decimal form of 145%. Either way you do it, the number you get will be the value for the 100 in the ratio, which is 137.93. The balance between the 200 and the 137.93 is the value for the 45 in this ratio. I simply take 200, subtract 137.93, and get 62.07. If the ratio is reversed as in 45 to 100, The formula is exactly the same except that we put the 137.93 under the B side and the 6207 under the A side. I'll give you another common scenario using the same 100 to 45 mix ratio. Let's assume you've poured out some A side into a container as a rough estimate of how much material you need. Now you have to calculate how much B side is needed. Once you've weighed the A side, you can simply multiply that number by 45% or 0.45 to find out how much B is needed to add to the A. From my experience in calculating ratios and watching others do the same, reducing the manual inputs you have to make into a calculator will lower your chance of making a calculating error. As I said before, there are other methods of calculating the ratio, but in comparison we feel this is a simpler solution.